here with my new friend Alexis Hi. and she actually reached out to me on Instagram a little while ago and said that she was a makeup artist that was new to LA and wanted to know if she could do my makeup so today I have an event to go to which we are actually on our way there and they gave me a plus one but I didn't invite anyone so she was at my place and I was like uh do you like want to go to this event with me and she was like sure so now we are on our way to the event um I filmed a little bit of her doing my makeup it's so pretty I'm definitely gonna buy these lashes that she used on me they are fantastic And you can go to her Instagram to see like all of, you know, her work. But now I have a new friend. I'm really excited. A yeah, lot of you have asked too. me. I know. So many of you have asked me like when you moved to LA, how did you make friends? Like how did you get to know people? You seem to have like a large friend group literally like this. Like <laughs> I just meet people and I'm like, hi, do you want to be friends? We can have a sleepover. We can do face masks. So I'm not exactly sure where we're going. Like I know it's an event for this brand, but I don't really know like what we're doing. So I was like, we can go check it out. If it's cool, we'll hang out. If not, we can just like go get lunch or something. I'm really hungry right now. Uh, so we might go do that. But we're going to my favorite place in town. Have you ever been to Melrose Place? Mm -mm. This is like my favorite really? place. Ever. Yes, like I love this little strip. There's like Alfred's coffee and Fig and Olive and this is where Elle got her wedding dress. Aww. Like it just has a lot of sentimental value. My yeah. old hair salon is here. Like just everything. So that's where I got both of my tattoos. Right there. That oh, really? place that says tattoo piercing <laughs> and looks like the type of place that you wouldn't like just walk into to get tatted up. Yep, I just walked in there and got so tatted funny. up. Yep. I just walked in. I said, hi, can you do... A tattoo? They said, that's what we do. <laughs> I said, okay, I want a tattoo. And I got them. That's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. This is seriously my favorite area in LA. Melrose Place is the best, but this is where we're going. Oh my goodness, look how pretty this looks. So cute. We just got to the Harmonist and Carol is going to take us through the experience that everyone gets when they come here. So apparently, well, I'll let her explain because I was trying to uh, explain it to you guys, but you're about to hear it from her herself. So, okay, this is what you walk into. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the Harmonist. Thank you. So the perfumer has created 10 perfumes inspired by Feng Shui philosophy, the five elements. So each perfume represents one element. This is the yin collection, the yin and the yang. So the black one is the yin. The yin is more subtle, delicate, a little bit more feminine. The yang is more strong, intense, a little bit more masculine, but all the collection is unisex. So I, love I that. invite you to smell all the collection and make your own selection. Which perfume do you prefer? Uh, which energy inspires you best? And uh, okay. tell me your selection. Okay. So after that, we will find out together what is your personal feng shui element and how each perfume interacts on you. So we just smell in the bowl? Just smell in the bowl. Okay, so Guiding Water smells good. And then Royal Earth is this next one. I'm gonna put my nose in here. Okay, I really like this one. Okay. I really like that. Wait, you tell me what you think. That does smell good. Okay, magnetic I feel like I'm not gonna be able to choose. Like, they're all By the way, this is the most expensive of the collection. I have pretty expensive taste. <laughs> Okay, um, magnetic wood, it did, I mean, you tell me. For me, it didn't like do yeah, anything. Okay. Yeah. Like it's pretty, but not. Ooh, metal flower is really good to me. I'm gonna stop telling you what I think because I wanna know. Yeah. You like that one? I okay. Like it. Hypnotizing I like fire. I like the first one It's not me. Hypnotizing fire is me. Yeah, I don't know so that I would wear that. I like it, but. Ooh. <laughs> really? Okay, I like this. I hope we get different ones. Yeah. 
Oh no, it was this one. Oh yes. Yes. Fire. Hypnotizing fire. Am I this one? So I keep your yeah, selection. You like that better than any of those? Yeah. So we both like the yin side yeah. better. That's interesting. So I picked Royal Earth and Hypnotizing Fire is my favorite and she likes Metal Flower and yeah. Guiding Water. So now we're gonna actually take the test and see what element we actually are and what we're drawn to and why we were drawn to that. This is so yeah. cool. Let's go. Okay. This is so pretty. Look at these little terrarium. Is that what they're called? Hanging. To represent each element. Her, metal, <gasps> oh, imagine water, so because cool. it represents oh a fountain. Oh my gosh! In my boutique in Paris, it's a real fountain. And this <gasps> is the malachite. Wow! And do you know the power of malachite stone? No. It absorbs negative energy. <gasps> oh, put oh me God. on there. <laughs> what? It absorbs negative energy. Take all my hater comments. Pale skin. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like this wait, insane. what? It you says you have pale skin. Okay, wait. So <laughs> I got I Yang. Sure. I was sure. Is that Yang? You're is that the black one? A white one, but I, I um, it's about personality. Strong what? Personality. Wait. So all the charismatic personality. Okay, okay. I want you to learn more. Okay. About so. Insane. Okay, so we took this test. And now it's gonna say, okay, so I am active, intelligent, straightforward. Yang water, interesting, because I'm a fire sign, because I'm an Aries, but okay, impulsive, yes. Extrovert, yes. Fearless, uh, I mean, like, sometimes I get scared of the dark, but. <laughs> Wait, where did yours say that you would have pale skin? Fine bone structure and pale skin. <laughs> what? Isn't that crazy? I should have got very pale skin. <laughs> the scent that you choose, that fire energy around you and you gives you more prosperity, more money. It develops your leadership. You feel more confident. <laughs> Everything is possible. Oh my gosh. Stop, this, this is, is so crazy. So crazy. <laughs> so okay. This is hypnotizing fire. Okay. So hypnotizing fire um, oh, combines so vanilla from Madagascar, benzoin, uh, patchouli, and uh, pimento berries, and a touch of rose too. So it's so comfortable, sensual perfume. Wow. Very sexy perfume. Yeah. Super beloved selection, I'm sure. I love it. Me too. It's my okay. perfume. It's your favorite? Yeah. <gasps> no, wait, wait, we're, we're twins. <laughs> okay. So let's continue with the metal. Okay. So the metal, for example, with your bracelet, I think uh, this one is really important for you. because. The wait, how do you know that that one is important? Because the metal on you, gives you more wisdom. It, it, it's like a protection. Wait, but I have three on and you picked the one that like is like my special one. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, okay. I so know. I like goosebump. I <laughs> Thanks to the metal, you feel protected because <sighs> the metal represents your parents. Yes. Oh my gosh. So you feel more comfortable, protected. You feel calm, quiet. So it's very good energy too. And it's perfect because your friend is metal. This is seriously crazy. Like, not only does she pick the bracelet that like means the most to me because it's the one that my dad got me. Oh my god. But then she calls out like <laughs> that I feel protected wearing it, like because of yeah. my parents like this is just this That's is crazy insane. we came by Alfred I got the $10 matcha I don't know if I've ever spent $10 on a non-alcoholic <laughs> drink in my life but look how cute this is it says on it timing is everything whether it's love sex or avocados what does yours say it's so annoying because he lives in Santa Monica and I live in West Hollywood in LA terms we're in a long-distance relationship oh my goodness <laughs> I love that 
and then I got a Chinese chicken salad and you got chicken Caesar whole wheat wrap. Yum. I'm going to taste my $10 matcha for the first time i cannot believe i spent ten dollars on this that's like a lot of money on a drink that's not even gonna get you like tipsy it's good though it's good yeah i'm gonna put a sweetener in it i don't think i'll ever get it again but you know it's good that was seriously the most fun i've had in quite a while wasn't that it was so, so cool. exciting it was so cool i will admit I was a little bit skeptical with how this was going like this test that I took was going to tell me like my personality and what I look for in other people and like what sparks my creativity but dang it was spot on I was like are you psychic how do you know this like every little detail yeah it said that hers was crazy because it said that she was like a little rock and roll and red roses and like she's wearing a leather yeah. jacket with red roses on it and this <laughs> and it wasn't like it could be changed for each person like when you walked in she saw that and she like wrote down like it was on the computer and it was like predetermined when you answer all of your questions so that was shocking to me now we're headed over to Ross because we were super, super close and I still need to pick up some neon clothes for this neon party this weekend at the lake house. All I know is that I'm supposed to wear like 80s neon workout gear or something on one of the days. There's also a talent show and I don't have a talent. Not everyone's performing a talent show, but like most people are. So I don't know what I could do, but I'm gonna look and see if anything like inspires me at Ross for a talent. I don't have a talent. Get like a microphone and just karaoke. Yeah, but I can't sing. I mean, I could make like a joke out of it, but it's like, I feel like a lot of these people are going to be doing oh, real talents. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I can burp the ABCs. Oh yeah. That's, yeah. You would win. Totally. But is that <laughs> winnable? Oh, it's Marshall's that we're going to. T. Okay. At Beverly Connection. Since when is a minivan considered a compact car? They are parked in the compact section. They're a minivan with a stick figure family. Uh, I'm having quite a bit of luck at Marshall's. I found something neon I'm gonna show you, but I also found, look how big this candle is. It's like the size of my face and it's smoked pumpkin. It smells so good, but look at this neon jacket that I found. It's Adidas and I actually, this is something that like I would wear later on. So I think I'm gonna wear this with just some like um, black yoga pants. So it's not showing you like how neon it is, but this is like neon coral or like between a pink and an orange. So now we are just looking around at some other things and these candles, look how big they are. I'm getting one of these for my coffee table. It smells so good. Oh, Teddy can be sushi for Halloween. It's an extra small, so I don't think it'll fit Mochi. And Mochi's white, so it might not stand yeah. out as much. But if Teddy's sushi, what should Mochi be? Oh my gosh. $10. They also have, oh, they have ice cream. <gasps> and the hat is a cherry. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. I don't know if I'm ready to commit yet. I know these are here, but like, I've been looking at a lot of different costumes for the boys this year so here's a crab just a cute little sweater i can seriously spend way too much time here so tell me like when you're ready to leave you're gonna have to kick me out but i'm okay with it this is why you don't wear gladiator sandals if you're gonna be trying on shoes i don't even know how to get these off These are some neon. <laughs> the only size they have is a six and a half. Oh, they fit they look really like they well. Fit, yeah. Yeah, they're perfect. With that outfit, perfect. So my gladiator sandal is untied and I've seriously tied this so much today and I'm about to take them off so I just don't feel like tying it again. But I did wear these gladiator sandals from Forever 21. I don't recommend them. They will not stay on for the life of me. And then this is the maxi dress I wore. It is a nice halter top and it has this cool detailing right here like this open detail and then it has an open back with this cute little um like i don't know strappy detail 
So you have like a double strap in the back. I think it's really pretty. It's from a boutique in Atlanta called Endless Knot. I'll put a link down below, but I think this is so pretty. I might actually take this to the lake house with me this weekend. But yeah, this was my outfit. I also took this jacket with me. So this is just a plain denim jacket that I have from Anthropology, And I got this very recently. And just so you guys know, if you don't like the feel of denim jackets because they're kind of stiff, this one does not feel like that. This is like the softest denim jacket in the world. It says this on the tag. For my bag today, I took my Chloe bag. I feel like you guys can also see my scar pretty well today. So when I straighten my arm, you can see how it goes to like a weird shape, like it indents into my arm. I'm trying to fade it really well. It has gotten a lot better than when I first got it obviously, but it's still, I don't know, it's still pretty noticeable. So I might get some laser treatments on it, but I'm just using the um, scar cream on it right now. I do not want to wash this makeup off because I think it looks so pretty, but I have to because I'm going to hop in the shower, go ahead and shave and exfoliate my entire body because mom has got a date tonight. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I have my friend coming over to spray tan me. You guys already met her in my vlogs, Crystal. So she is going to give me a spray tan because I'm going to like a premiere or screening or something tomorrow. So I wanted to be spray tanned for that and also for the lake this weekend. So she's gonna come over, spray tan me, and then I'm going to attempt to spray tan her because she's actually a professional spray tanner. So she knows how to do it very well. Obviously I don't, but she wants to be tanned too. So she was like, after I tan you, you can tan me. And I was like, yeah, I've never done it before, but like, I'm sure I can, you know, figure it out. Just like elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist, right? So that is gonna be tonight. Also, I didn't vlog on Tuesday because I had my tutorial going up on Wednesday, but how freaking cute are the boys with their new fancy schmancy haircuts? Mochi went from looking like a dirty penguin to a cute little polar bear. What are you doing? You want this toy? I'm holding up a toy right here so that they look up at the camera and you guys can see them. Do you want it? Do you want it? Get it. Aw, Mochi always wins. I'm sorry. <laughs> Teddy's like throwing a temper tantrum. And then he comes back to me like, really? Mochi, why are you sniffing his booty? Go get it, Teddy. Mochi doesn't have it. He's actually throwing a temper tantrum. My skin is seriously so bad right now, but while I wait for Crystal to come over to do my Spray tan, Alexa is here. We are eating some Italian ice and we are going to watch the Big Brother finale because so many of you are already tweeting me asking me what I thought about it and I recorded it and we are gonna watch it because I am, it's gonna get spoiled for me if I don't watch it like right now. Oh my gosh, wait. watched it yet they can't okay. know but oh my ah! that was the craziest okay this I is, was even excited and I'm never seen the show this isn't like a spoiler but I will say that it comes down very close in the boats in the end mochi look at that dog can you see him he won't let us mochi mochi all right, we're gonna set up the spray tan tent. Oh my gosh, that's like really intense. Oh yeah. Okay, and you're gonna walk me through everything on how I do this. Walk you through step by step. I've had a lot of spray tans, but I've never spray tanned anyone. <laughs> no time right now. What well, the most important weekend of my life. No, no pressure. <laughs> You cannot see you at all, but you can see me and I'm gonna spray tan you. I can see your arms now. Look how tan already you are. <laughs> look at the insides. Yeah, look at my insides. I'll change that, I'll fix that. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous. Can I stick my head out? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay, so you take the lotion. 
pushing. Okay. And put it on my palms. Okay. Too much? Yeah. Nope, that's perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh, you're a professional. No, you're hired. Dance. You're hired. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, wait, you're thumb Thank you. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh oh. Just in case the crevices. <laughs> Now you take the gun and oh, should I should take this off first. Um, do you want me to take it off? I think I can get it. Uh, do you want me to take your shirt off? Yes, please okay. do. Okay, so take the gun and then hook the hose thing into the bottom of it. So when you turn it on, nothing like it's just air that comes out. Okay. And then She's not in panties, you guys. She is wearing underwear. Look, it's a swimsuit. I mean, it's underwear. Don't worry, it's just, it's not panties, it's underwear. It's a swimsuit. Look how pale I look next to you. I mean, you're not, not me. Amazing. The okay, tan so, the tan line. What did you need to consult? Okay, tell me about your skin. It's translucent. Translucent, okay. Translucent. Translucent. <laughs> Perfect. It's Good. translucent. Okay. Um, um, are you more on the side of dry or more on the side of oily? My face is more oily. My skin, like my body is more dry. Perfect. Great. Easy. Is that the worst? Will you be in water this weekend? With, with yeah. me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 Cannonball contest. Okay. Are we doing um, that? Um, well, I think we should. Okay. 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 Uh, you can't see me. Okay, but you can see you. All good. Good manicure. Thanks, I just got it. It's a um, color. It's called It's a Boy, and I picked it because it was blue, and we're going to the lake, which is a body of water, which is blue. Love the theory. <laughs> Love the thought behind that. Is it OPI or SPF? Yeah, OPI. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll get the same one. I Friendship would manicure. Love that. Oh Friendship my gosh. manicure. Wait, are you getting it tomorrow? Yeah, I'm getting oh it tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's called, it's called It's a Boy. It's a Boy, got it. Usually I go mod about you. Kind of I like that, too. but I think I think I'm with you on the body of water. Yeah, blue nails. Why not? <laughs> that was so much fun. That was the first spray tan that I've ever given to someone else, and I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but toot toot because I think I did a pretty good job this weekend. We'll be able to really see my work in all of its dried glory, but. I am breaking out pretty badly and I wish I could put some medicine on it tonight, but I can't put anything on my skin for eight more hours. So we're just gonna deal with it. Tomorrow's gonna be pretty fun because I have like a little movie premiere screening thing that's black tie, super formal. So I'm wearing like a gown. I'm so excited about it. Um, but today's question of the vlog before I go pass out because it is past midnight so I'm super exhausted I'm gonna go to sleep and then probably edit this vlog in the morning and upload it but the question of the vlog is out of all the movies slash TV shows you have been a part of what was your favorite and why I would have to say my favorite to film was probably Jessica Darling's it list just because the cast was amazing the crew was amazing I feel like I had a larger role in that so I really got to 
go through the entire process of filming something instead of just showing up and like having one line and something. So I think that that was the most fun. Honestly, I wish I was daily vlogging when I did that because it was so much fun. I was able to bring my little sister out here to LA and she got to be like an extra on set, which was awesome for her. She was either 12 or 13 at the time that we were filming and I know that it just meant so much to her. She had so much fun. She got to like see a Hollywood movie set, but that movie's actually on Netflix now. It's called Jessica Darling's It List and it was really fun. So that was my question of the vlog if you haven't already please tap that subscribe button down below and don't forget to leave a comment with your question of the vlog and I might answer it in my next vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will talk to you later bye